Would you be astonished to know the fact that the history of robots has its origin in the ancient era? Well yeah, the idea of autonomy was first introduced in 5000 BC. Robotic inventions reached a relative peak in the 1700s. Countless intelligent yet impractical ideas were put forth during this time. From there, robotics have come quite a long way. In the modern era, robots have taken different forms. Today, we'll be diving deep into the top charts of the strangest robots that exist. Before we get things rolling, welcome to Robot Future. If you're new here, please subscribe to our channel to become a member of our community. Don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to not miss out on any of our videos. With all that done, let's begin. The earliest robots were built by George C. DeVol, an American scientist in the early 1950s. For his invention of the first industrial robot, Unimate, DeVol came to be known as the grandfather of robotics. Robots are getting more and more advanced as constant efforts are going on to build more sophisticated machines. Robots are getting pretty amusing concepts and designs. After watching this video, we guarantee that your insights on how a robot should be will change. So stay tuned and let's begin the top 7 countdown. Number 7. Alfred 2 Romila, short for Robotics and Mechanism Laboratory, is robotics research and educational facility primarily aiming to invent humanoid robots. Alfred 2 is one of their amusing robots. Alfred robots use four legs symmetrically around their bodies, making them symmetric in a vertical axis. So it doesn't have an official front or back and can move in any direction. This robot can walk, run, hop, jump, swiftly, and even carry objects. Alfred robots can do quadrupedal, tripedal, and even bipedal walking. During bipedal operation, two legs are used for walking while the other two turns into arms, making the machine a bit fragile. A more stable tripedal configuration allows the robot to do operations like push a button, open a door, and so on. And thanks to passive wheels under its body, Alfred too can use its limbs to quickly and efficiently skate around. Alfred surely can do it all. What makes it more exciting is its scary design and mobility. On its move, Alfred resembles a four-legged predator capable of pouncing on its prey. Alfred Robot is undoubtedly a handy robot even if it looks weird and fearsome. Number 6. Robugtix Z6 Robotic, a Hong Kong-based robotics company, is known for spider bots. One of their portable and foldable creations is the Z6. With a very compact form factor, the Z6 can be easily carried in a backpack or suitcase to a site. The Z6 measures out at 7.8 by 9 by 5.4 inches when folded into its compact form, while these numbers jump to 20.5 by 19.3 by 6.7 inches when deployed. The robot is controlled with a Wi-Fi enabled joystick having an integrated monitor for navigating the robot and observing the surroundings. The robot is supplied with a camera for streaming real-time videos. The spider-looking machine is capable of climbing stairs, navigating in rough terrain, and can even roll over and upright itself if required. The robot is fitted with 18 motorized joints, an onboard gyroscope and sensors to detect surface contact. Robugtix states the Z6 is still patent pending and they haven't given an exact pricing range, but considering the $1,000 price tag of T8X, the Z6 is expected to cost not much more. Number 5. UrchinBot Inspired by a sea urchin, engineers from Harvard University presented UrchinBot at the International Conference of Robotics and Intelligent Systems. The organic-looking robot incorporates anatomical features unique to sea urchins actuated by pneumatics or hydraulics and operating without a tether. Serious efforts have been made to replicate the geometry and movement ranges of the real urchin. The design of the robot is inspired by juvenile sea urchins rather than adult urchins since they have a simpler body that can be easily replicated into robots. Urchinbot has 5 flexible feet and 10 rigid moving spines. It's driven by actuators inside the robot body, allowing it to drag in a specific direction or rotate. All the DOMs in its body are connected internally to promote symmetrical rotating movements. The rest of the body has pumps, valves, and electronic devices that allow it to move autonomously under the sea. The feet are also controlled by a hydraulics and magnetic path. With a top speed of 6 mm per second, urchin bots are slightly slower than juvenile urchins and are considered slow to move underwater. Researchers claim that UrchinBot can be used for underwater cleaning and inspection in situations where heavy inlays would be a challenge for more conventional robots. Number 4. Guardian GT 
The Guardian GT is a large-scale industrial exoskeleton developed by Sarco's Robotics. The robot might seem to look like a war machine made to destroy things, but it's actually an excellent robot capable of replicating human movements with great accuracy and smoothness. The Guardian GT looks immense, but its real selling point is its dexterity. The 7-foot long arms can lift up to 500 pounds and turn around and manipulate the most delicate object. The company claims the robot is kinematically equivalent. In other words, it's arranged like a human, so the operator is controlling what is essentially a sized-up version of their own body. The kinematic equivalent concept of the Guardian GT allows a rookie to use the machine with ease. In addition, the robot uses force feedback, so the operator can sense the environment through the machine's arm. Another advantage of the Guardian GT is it's all custom built. Sarcos had made every bit of the machine customized to work in harmony rather than buying parts from other sources and assembling them, giving it an upper hand in case of dexterity. On a construction site, there are tasks like joining two pipes that require heavy machinery and multiple labors. With Guardian GT, all it takes is a supercharged human being. The company claims that Guardian GT is not just a specialty tool, but the future of the heavy industry. Working alongside robots is far better than having robots work without us, right? Which might possibly be the reason why the company intends to combine the power of a robot with the flexibility of humans. With these attributes, the Guardian GT is expected to find its application in the construction and agriculture field, where severe labor shortage exists. The Guardian GT's control system allows it to take on delicate tasks, and the video feed also means we can use it remotely. Combining these features, the robot is ideally suited for dangerous jobs like cleaning out nuclear power plants. Number 3. VLOX The amphibious robot developed by US company Pliant Energy Systems has turned out to be one of the most amusing robots. The VLOX robot can move through water and over sand, pebbles, snow, ice, and other solid ground, and can complete tasks that robots designed purely for either land or sea would be unsuited to. VLOX robot has fins that were initially developed to generate electricity from rivers. It turns out that they're as effective at creating propulsive thrust for swimming robots as they are at capturing the energy flowing through rivers, said the company's CEO and founder Benjamin Pietro Filardo. The fins also make the robot ultra-maneuverable, allowing it to instantly reverse direction or do a quick turn. The fins wanted a shape that wouldn't become entangled with debris or damaged by pumping up against heavy objects. The amphibious capabilities of VLOX makes it the most suitable for studying and mapping surf zones. The VLOX is not currently available for sale, but it's expected to take on the oceans within a year or two. Number 2. Leonardo Developed by researchers at Caltech, Leo is the first robot that uses multi-joint legs and propeller-based thrusters to achieve a fair degree of control over its balance. The two and a half feet tall robot looks more like a mini droid and takes bipedal robots to a whole new level. Engineers at Caltech built a bipedal robot that combines walking with flying to create a new type of locomotion. Leo's lightweight legs take a considerable amount of stress off its thrusters by supporting the bulk of the weight. But the reason for Leo's uncanny balance is that the thrusters are controlled synchronously with leg joints. Leo has two legs with three actuated joints and four propeller thrusters mounted in an angle on its shoulders. Leo walks just like humans. The propellers ensure that the robot is upright as it walks, and the leg actuators change the position of the legs to move the robot's center of mass forward through the use of a controller. One potential application of LEO will be to reach high-altitude environments where other bipedal robots find difficulties reaching the site. For instance, LEO can be used for inspecting high-voltage lines or tall bridges. LEO cannot be used commercially as the robot encounters several design challenges. Foremost among them is the battery life as the bot can only currently operate for 100 seconds of flight or 3.5 minutes of walking with a single charge. Well, Leo sure is research material, and the robot might seem to tackle all these issues soon. Number 1. Hermes Hermes is a rescue robot intended to be used in hazardous and disastrous situations. The engineering team at MIT wants to fundamentally tackle the risk of sending in humans for rescue operations. The Hermes humanoid robot system is designed for studying whole-body human in the loop control with balanced feedback. The robot is considered much more potent than humans and can be sent into disaster sites for search and rescue missions. 
A sensor suit worn by the operator allows the human to feel the force feedback the robot experiences and enables the robot to balance itself more effectively. The robot's hands are controlled by the controllers and human arms, and a camera on the head of the robot feeds video straight back into the pilot's heads-up display. The developers are planning to give the robot some level of autonomous control in the future. So there you have the 7 strange robots that top the list. Thank you for watching. If we've missed out on anything, do let us know in the comment section. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon with the following video. Until then, adios!